Guidance of referee Mark Halsey. Manchester United 70 points, four to play. Arsenal 69, six to play, including this one. Liverpool 68, five to play. They're not in action today. Tottenham with just under 3,000 supporters in the stadium. It's a windy day. It will be a, a good occasion to keep the ball low to this uh, impeccable Highbury playing surface. Sivan Wiltor turning round to the referee, uh, sure that he was fouled then by Darren Anderton, but of course he let the game go on. And Huddle, who knows all about these uh, rivalries from his uh, distinguished days as a, a player at the Tottenham Hotspur. David Seaman's played in more than 20 games of this intensity against the other North London side. Free kick is given this time in Will Tall's favour. It's a long way out, even wind assisted that might not deter 30 goal Thierry Henry and 75 seconds on the clock but, uh, the shot didn't get very far for Henry Arsenal have uh, started their recent games so explosively, they've really blown the opposition away. They do the same, and Tottenham uh, will have done their best to prepare themselves for that. Simon Wiltor's had a very good season. Working in the different positions for the team cause, the wind ruffling the flags at half-mast today. at left back the climbing on Everson who's felt the force of the challenge plenty of height in the Tottenham team notably Gus Poyet of course with his eye for goal and Sheringham Crept on uh, just past Teddy Sheringham and past the post. Sheringham was a scorer the last time that Tottenham won at Highbury back in 1993 in his first spell with the club. The wind probably playing tricks on the flight of the ball here. And it just ran behind Sheringham and uh, harmlessly from Arsenal's point of view. Hoisted forward by Sherwood. That goes Campbell. Dean Richards for Tottenham. Now Poyet. Zeger taking over off the head of Everson. Towards Tony Adams by Jungberg. Tony Adams has only played one previous Premiership game in the last six months. That was here last Saturday against Sunderland. Lozny's throw. Eddie King needed by Spurs today because... Uh, to dig deep into their resources to get to 16 players available. Strange to say that about a Premiership club, but so often has been the story for them, the, uh, the absentees rather than those who are out on the pitch. Will Tor, arriving from right back. The Gardner, who's starting as an orthodox left back for Spurs and the Gardner. 
gets the final touch. So in front of the uh, Tottenham contingent, Edu will take the corner. Zigu tries to follow it out and does so successfully. Anderton with a little flick. Anderson doesn't get very far. And Dennis Bergkamp in the centre of Arsenal's defending. Crowned as the uh, player of last month by the league sponsors Barkley Card. Got that award just before kickoff. March was marvellous for Bergkamp and indeed for Arsenal. Will Tour. Luzhny. Put a curl on the cross. Gardner uses his height to good effect. Testing early minutes for Tottenham Hotspur. Against what has become a very fast starting Arsenal. Well, Campbell would uh, perhaps uh, enjoy particularly being a scorer here. Back goes Keller, he didn't grasp the ball at his highest point, but what mattered for Tottenham is that he grasped it. Bent in towards the American, Edu's delivery, and uh, Jungberg was making it uncomfortable for Casey Keller. But he coped. Adams. Jungberg. Defending from uh, Chris Perry. Anderson nowhere near showing him for the flick on. Wiltor. Seeger sticks out of foot. Edu has lost Anderton with the movement. Looks at Wiltor with a pass and finds him all. Oh, well, the approach work was. Uh, of a very high order, but Sylvain Wiltor was maybe more concerned with assessing what was on in the centre than actually mastering the ball as it rolled towards him. Beautifully crafted by Edu. Couldn't be easier, it seemed, to cross it, but Wiltor failed that particular test to his own embarrassment. And his manager's uh, scrutiny. did meet in the FA Cup semi-final last season as well as the two league games. This of course won through to Cardiff. And we'll be looking to do the same at Old Trafford next weekend where their opponents in this year's semi-final in Middlesbrough. They do. Jungberg. Adams. Quite what Oleg Luzhny was expecting. Everson anticipating that from Anderton. Sheringham. Now Sherwood. Gardner. Poyet. Shots on. And it just bounced in front of David Seaman. Well, we all know it can be awkward for goalkeepers, but Seaman scooped it up on the half volley. A little bit of possession, and then a shot at the end of it from Gus Poyet for Tottenham Hotspur. Henri, with the king behind it. And a tip. Spirals from Keller's kick towards Seager, who was challenged purposefully by Lauren. Wiltor. Jungberg coming in from the left-hand side. and Vieira, who certainly speak the same language, confused each other then. A touch from Bergkamp, a clearance from Kick. Edu. The more the game is uh, maybe down to bits and pieces, the more Tottenham will like it if uh, Arsenal can find the flow to their football. Well, could, uh, Sufficient damage on Spurs for Arsenal to get what they wanted today. 
Bergkamp. Jungberg round the back, still going. And Mark Halsey wasn't sure. And had a look across to his assistant on this near side from the camera point of view. It was a long way away from the incident, but the, the outcome is a goal kick. The prod from Anderton went astray, brilliantly backed by Bergkamp to Jungberg. in particular breathing again after losing the ball in the Tottenham's defensive third. Ten minutes gone. And maybe unusual for Arsenal these days. They haven't broken through. Arsenal nil, Tottenham Hotspur now. Which is pressed by Bergkamp into putting it out. Camp pulled off for uh, Anthony Gardner and then played it against the Tottenham defender. Adu gets it wide. There's a bit of room here for Oleg Luzhny. Plenty forward for Arsenal. Comfortably dealt with by the head of Richards. Luzhny tries again. Bergkamp. All right. He's concentrating on keeping it down. He did very well. It's not a first choice position for him, left back. And Henri had the sight of goal from outside the penalty area. A couple of uh, buccaneering breaks from Luzhny. Not only Ashley Cole out, of course, but uh, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, Matthew Upson can play that position as well. Jungberg, Bergkamp. Plenty of Spurs players uh, on the screen, the back line, including Sherwood, Bergkamp. Uh, <laughs> coming at pace, and it took it, that run took him beyond where Bergkamp chested the ball to. Casey yes, Keller will probably have a sympathetic thought for a, one of his former clubs, Leicester City. Relegated today after being beaten 1-0 at home by... Uh, what you would call an understrength Manchester United, if that uh, is not a contradiction in terms, certainly shorn of uh, several senior players. Seager. This is dropped into space by Keller, but it was filled first by Campbell, as Everson chased. They do tight on Anderton, and then Richards equally tight on Henri. Put forward by Sherwood, glided on by Sheringham and through from Poyet. Everson out comes David Seaman, the flag was up, but Seaman couldn't trust to that. Martin Atkinson, the assistant on that far touch line. Nicely worked by Spurs, a central route. Jungberg. Edu. Jungberg. Challenge by Ledley King, had to be uh, careful with it. Sheringham, Anderton finds a way out. Everson trying to buy Spurs a bit of time here, and he's done that very well indeed. Gardner. Now Poyet. He's lost out on the grab hold of Patrick Vieira, and there's no alternative but for... Uh, Mark Halsey to get the book out here. It was a cynical act by Poyet. More born, I think, out of frustration that he'd given the ball away. Vieira read it. It's a yellow card for Poyet. Inside the opening 15 minutes. Vieira walking his own particular disciplinary tightrope. 
Tottenham Huddle's plans are disrupted today by the late uh, cry off of Ben Thatcher. He's so quick to react, Henri. He found the uh, head of Perry. And the ball from Luznik. Henri again. Cleared by Poyet and the Everson upfield for Spurs. He's uh, lost out to Adams. They do. Might get within range here. Cotton did back off the Brazilian. Could have paid a price for it. And uh, Keller quite happy to watch it roll wide. Richards. Piera, it's tight in that midfield area, but uh, Arsenal found enough space because of the quick technique until Vieira tried to spread the play, and that's when it broke down. Everson, that's uh, a weak run by Sol Campbell. Will talk. Vieira trying to take it on here. Strongly uh, met, though, by Darren Anderton. Plenty of uh, know-how in their midfield have Tottenham. In a diamond formation that's worked well for them in recent games. Ziga. Gardner, but the Edu did well and showed in that defensive point of the diamond. And they'll get in again. Link up with Ziga. And with Sheringham, this is good play from Spurs. Ziga, and Adams has to be alert. Time to have a look round, though, and pick a pass out. Aiden. And Andre come for a ball right at closer quarters than had anticipated. Poyet picking it up well forward, not getting it back from Everson. Really in the Tot Tottenham's nature just to mount a holding operation. They've got to plenty of ability in their team, proven international quality. Anderton, Sheringham. And, uh, Whether Mark Halsey saw all of this, I'm not sure. But he's calling... Uh, Dennis Bergkamp across. He was late on Sherwood. So... Just a minute or two after Poyet has gone in the book. Bergkamp is uh, singled out for the same treatment by Mark Halsey. Tim Sherwood scored the last time that Spurs beat Arsenal. That was at White Hart Lane in November 99. England's head coach, of course. Mary Clements, England's goalkeeping coach, and a former Tottenham goalkeeper, and a father of a present Tottenham player, Stephen Clements, who's making his way back from an injury that's ruined his season. For the Arsenal fans, uh, Teddy Sheringham is a, a symbol of Spurs, really. Period of service, of course, before he moved to Manchester United. And into Wood Sheringham by King. And Vieira yeah, lets it run for the goal kick. 
Well, it's a fairly typical London derby to this point. Not typical London conditions. The wind has been a lovely week in England. High temperatures. But they've been spoilt by the dust and the wind that got up during the night. And it's blowing unabated here. Making the uh, the passes uh, difficult to judge. But that's uh, what they do with one of the better ones. Pretty close to pitch level, if not exactly along the ground, and it's led to an Arsenal corner. Murray just stopped by the reach of Ledley King. Here going towards the near post. Headed away by Richards. Lauren. Burkham didn't expect to get it, but he did. On the defence uh, of Anderton. Change of pace by Henri. Irresistible. It's a corner. Despite the number of players Tottenham had around him then, Thierry Henri still cut through them. And he was just crowded out by the near post. 20 minutes gone. Henri's corner. Lauren and Stefan Everson acting it right back for the moment. Vieira chasing. Adams with the header. Sherwood, King. Bergkamp gets it for Arsenal. Maidu makes a run down the centre. But not that far forward. <laughs> Started to chase it again. Very good judgment uh, of the dropping ball by Tony Adams. The start of this Arsenal attack. But Jungberg and uh, Wiltor are hoping to find a successful conclusion to it. King, nothing given there, good covering by Anthony Gardner to help King out. Too high for Adams, Gardner really butts it away. Bergkamp. We're halfway through the first half at Highbury. Arsenal nil, Tottenham Hotspur nil in the FA Barclay Card Premiership. Edu. Henri able to turn and tease it through for Bergkamp. For Jungberg, chance pushed out by Keller. And Sherwood there to help the goalkeeper out. Best bit of football we've seen from Arsenal so far. And the best save from Casey Keller. Bergkamp, Jungberg again, Keller again, but it rolls on in. Arsenal 1, Tottenham 0. He was thwarted a few seconds earlier, Freddie Jungberg, but succeeded the second time. Again, the run was perfect, as was the pass. Keller got a piece of it, but not enough. A truly typical piece of poaching by Freddie Jungberg. After a brilliant ball from Bergkamp. Well, they've had to work hard in the opening quarter of the game. 
But Highbury is rocking in celebration to the first goal of the game. And it's uphill for Tottenham. Campbell. Sherwood trying to just loft it in behind Arsenal's back line there. There's no one quite anticipating that. Bergkamp. Oh, it's masterful. Play on, says Mark Halsey, if there was a, a foul in there. And they're dancing to Bergkamp's tune, Arsenal at the moment. Vieira. Oh, and, uh, that's, I think, another attempt to try and unsettle Patrick Vieira here by uh, Tottenham Hotspur, Teddy Sheringham, the guilty party this time. Spurs will know only too well that uh, Vieira has got a problem of his own in terms of one more yellow card, either here or in the FA Cup semi-final, will mean a, a two-game ban. If it happens in the semi-final, he will be out of the final if Arsenal get there. So they're trying to play on that, and uh, anyway, Sheringham has been sorted out by Mark Halsey. That's uh, on the late side by Lauren on Gardner, who's actually helped the referee there by not making a fuss of it. Here's a free kick in the current climate, which is heated up with the bookings. And the goal, of course, maybe a less experienced referee might have uh, reached for another yellow there, but just the case of the free kick, which Gardner takes himself. Nice touch by Anderton. Bergkamp. Wiltor. down uh, quickly by Vieira quickly and fairly Adams that's a free kick to Spurs Everson drew the foul Anderson having a good look. There's two. From the other end of the equation is David Seaman. It's just clipped forward by Anderton. Into the chase here with Gardner. Youth shades experience. Sherwood. Anderson drifting to the left. The ball beyond his reach well he did marvellously in March Bergkamp is uh, awesome in April as well and that's a sight to behold Chelsea 1 Everton 0 Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank West Ham 1 Charlton 0 a Paolo Di Canio penalty Richards with the header. Anderton taking a maybe to chase and chase in fight. Once or twice Tottenham have got some touch football going, but uh, not on that occasion. Anderton that makes up for his mistake with a, a solid challenge. Southampton won Derby County nil, Matt Oakley. 
Richards, who uh, scored a goal here for Southampton. That's one or two happy Highbury memories, but at the moment he's on the uh, losing side. On a day when Tottenham fans uh, hate losing, of course. The rivalry goes back to the early years of the 20th century. Uh, Arsenal were originally a South London club and moved north of the river into Tottenham territory. Anderton. Here's Edu. Will Tor. Came off Sherwood, but fortunately for Arsenal. Lauren. Guard the back pedaling. An experience showing uh, maybe from the left back who can't stop the cross coming in. Dealt with well by uh, Sherwood, but Edu's on the scene. Bergkamp. Keller had to be very, very alert. He knows all about Dennis Bergkamp from his time in England before with Leicester. Could have gone directly in. It might have uh, invited a touch from a teammate, even off a defender. But Spurs have survived that one. Over, over. And then the corner curves over Keller's crossbar. A bit of respite for Tottenham Hotspur. This was uh, a view from the other side, the sort of angle that Bergkamp saw himself and looked to exploit. And so nearly did. Good work by Keller again. All right. letting it bounce, which is sometimes makes it more difficult for defenders. Sherwood, actually in uh, very rapidly to uh, great applause from the uh, section of the ground closest to Oleg Luzhny then. Perry. Adams trying to stay tight to Everson again. Closing in, that is so often the uh, the way these derby fixtures are contested. No one uh, gives ground. Ashley Cole would love to have been a part of it. But that knee injury, not as serious as first thought, but charted on Monday. Keeps him on the sidelines. Burkamp. Remember the goal scorer. Headed off by Ledley King, now King of Spurs in England. He won his first cap as a substitute against Italy. Some footwear problems for Freddie Jungberg. Henri, back up! Some slight of uh, foot from Thierry Henry while uh, Jungberg was still doing up his boots. Just keep an eye on Chris Perry. He gets across there and uh, catches the eye line of Dennis Bergkamp. And uh, take a bit of credit for Bergkamp putting that one well wide. first half against Arsenal on Monday and it's uh, pretty much the same story for them at Upton Park they're now 2-0 down Freddie Canute with a second for the Hammers Luzhny here's Dean Richards with a bit of time to uh, have a look around and see what's on he's looking for Ziga who's uh, got the better of Lauren here They've just run out of room Vieira. 
Richards. to call the tune and they are on the move with Wiltor down the right hand side but Bergkamp's under played the pass Sherwood Tottenham still with an outside chance of qualifying for Europe but they uh, will be ruining the fact they wasted a great opportunity to get a direct passage into the UEFA Cup and they lost the League Cup final the Worthington Cup final to uh, Blackburn Rovers when they were the more fancied of the two teams. Richards. Bergkamp. Vieira. Oh, and Sherwood didn't get uh, anything of the ball. And Patrick Vieira's on the receiving end again. And that's been rather a, a nasty subplot in this first half. Vieira anticipated it, but it's another yellow card for a Tottenham player for a foul on Vieira. And that's the third. Poet, Sheringham, Sherwood. All right, Sherwood gets it away. Nicely guided down by Everson. If you keep Stefan Everson uh, fully fit, Tottenham, I think they've obviously got a very fine player, but putting a run of matches together has been very difficult for him in his time in England. Anderton. We're inside the last 10 minutes of the first half. Arsenal leading by a Freddie Jungberg goal to nil. But for Casey Keller, it would have been more than that. Sherwood. He was flipped on by Everson, but he clashed heads with Campbell. Long ball from Lauren. Henry doing a little bit of... A Pushing and shoving, he's uh, the other way the assistant, but it wasn't for offside. Joe. Sure. Spurs are still very much in it, although they've had less of the ball. They must not, though, from their point of view, concede a second goal, especially before half time. Anderton. King getting forward. Everson with glancing it on. Teddy Sheringham! Well, the flag was up. So, uh, a certain amount of relief for Sheringham. But it must have been close. Sheringham querying it himself. It was very close. But the flag did go up. And uh, David Seaman placing the ball for a free kick rather than for a goal kick. Sheringham put it wide under challenge from the goalkeeper in any case. But there's a warning to Arsenal that the job is not yet complete. Get it, get it. Have, uh, in recent games, been virtually assured of uh, victories here against Sunderland away to chant the FA Cup quarter-final replay against Newcastle on this ground. All before half time, really. Colour there ahead of Dennis Bergkamp. Will Tour. Down goes Vieira again. And then Mark Horsey said uh, to Patrick Vieira, I saw it. Gardner. And goes to Adu with Sheringham as well. Bergkamp. And he's eager, whips it away. Has to take it down by Everson. Another fine example of hold-up play from the Norwegian. 
and from Sheringham as well. Anderton. Sherwood. Campbell biting it on Sheringham. Henri stayed on his feet. Richards didn't. Jungberg. It's up against Bergkamp. Sheringham. It's the space in midfield. Plenty of it for Darren Anderton. And now for Gus Poyet. Sherwood had less time, but he still got it to wide to Zieger and kept Tottenham in possession. Poyet. Vieira was in danger of miscalculating. There's a chase on here, Seaman and Everson. And the goalkeeper again was quick. David Seaman showing some concern. But his first job here was to get the ball away. Which he did. But Everson stayed down. And one hopes for Stefan Everson that it's not more injury problems. BT is the Tottenham physio. John Gorman there. He was, uh, of course, Glenn Hoddle's right hand man. And, uh, very much was so uh, when they were in the England setup. They do. To uh, stretch the play and involve Will Tour here. Backed up by Laura. Not back for Tottenham, but Lindbergh uh, trying again to sneak in this forward without Everson, but he's back on his feet. And Stefan Everson is back on. Seeger, sharing him. Sure, Everson's in a position to chase that. That's enough to half time for Dan Hoddle maybe to see it through to the interval before making a decision on Stefan Everson. Anderton. Now Adu. Well, touched by Richards as the goalkeeper was coming out. There was uh, no redress for Casey Keller, but Richards diverting the ball not just wide of the goalkeeper, but wide of the goal as well. Henri to take the corner. Vital for Spurs that they don't concede again before the half-time break. Zieger steers it away. Lushny, Tottenham pushing out to try and hold a line just on the edge of the area. Henri. Will Tor. Now Vieira. They've gone straight to Bergkamp. Spurs was a, was a group, but moving in the opposite direction. But they can reposition Bergkamp. Will Tor trying to take it on the turn, on the burst as well. Spurs just about standing firm. Vieira. Well, it comes and uh, catches confidently, and it's not an easy task on this blustery day for a goalkeeper. They do. Here's Lushny on the gallop. Is Bergkamp. 
Vieira. It wasn't an easy one to strike, and had Will Torbin able to control it, it wouldn't have mattered because he was offside. Vieira doesn't get many goals, but he's uh, shown a bit of a knack of scoring against Spurs. Got one in the uh, FA Cup semi-final a year ago. Not this time. Three extra minutes before half-time. He's uh, pulled the play back for a late challenge by Jungberg. Last night leading by one goal to nil on the day when Manchester United have already won by one goal to nil at Leicester. Oh, Richards, no one went with him. Evans deals with it in the penalty area. Sherwood. Chelsea 2-0 up home to Everton. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has got both of those goals. Campbell. Adu. around the elbow that can be very painful it's been a first half of fits and starts partly down to the tension partly down to Glenn Hoddle's uh, Spurs doing uh, all that they can to interrupt the Arsenal's attempt to play the flying football that's won them so many plaudits and won them so many games and so many uh, points in the FA Barclay card premiership Hasn't been the best day for the passing game because of the, the blustery wind and the, uh, the desire to get the challenges in. And they've worked hard in that respect, Spurs. Have, uh, picked up three cautions in the first half. And Vieira has uh, felt the force of his midfield challenges personally. Well, it hasn't been the same old story for Arsenal. They haven't uh, virtually put the game beyond redress before half-time, but they do lead at the interval here. Jungberg scored it, his 12th goal of the season, manufactured by... Well, the sun continues to shine at Highbury, the wind continues to blow, and Arsenal will hope that they continue to progress in the FA Barclay Card Premiership. Simon Davis has been uh, in or around the team all season. It's been a, a season of progress for him and on the international front with Wales as well. Now, this was a, a system of play that uh, Van Hoddle seemed to prefer to tell switching to a back four in uh, recent games, but that's uh, been changed for this second half. Gives us eager a bit more licence to get up and down the left-hand side, he'll certainly be expected to get back as well. He hasn't got an orthodox left-back behind him as he had in the first half. That was a Gardner, now down goes Bergkamp on the edge of the area. That is not where the contact was, because nothing's given. Adu, can't, can't chase it, still look rather ruefully towards the referee.
Dean Richards and Spurs survived the skirt. And they're still very much in contention here. They might find some agitation from the home supporters uh, working in their favour if Arsenal don't push on and uh, secure the points. 1-0. Always offer hope to the team that are trailing by that margin. Everson has come out for the second half. Remember, he was uh, injured in that uh, collision with David Seaman just before half-time. Sheringham uh, lurking with intent. Dean Richards has gone forward. Sherwood with the free kick. And Richards got to it. Picked away by Vieira. Anderton. Heads away. All right. And Terry was uh, pleased to find that within reach. And Sherman's got to be careful. He was booked in the first half. He's uh, probably remonstrating with Jungberg that uh, Jungberg was trying to make a bit more than that than the incident deserved. Sherman got there second. Of that, there was no doubt. Richards. And Sherwood. Gardner. Good change of pace from the uh, young defender that they signed from uh, Port Vale. Had, uh, some first team experience. They do have a good crop of younger players. They also, of course, have a lot of uh, senior men. Uh, perhaps uh, vulnerable to the criticism that they are the wrong side of 30. Aidan. The back heel for Thierry Henry. Vieira. Oh, and telling uh, Wiltor where he wanted him to go, and the Wiltor obeyed the instruction, got the ball, and has now lost it. Ziga. Sheringham. Now Everson. On Perry here, and he's rather bowed to it. It's Jungberg. What's he going to do? He goes for a uh, percentage ball, maybe. It could have gone in direct, it could have been touched in. And Chris Perry, in particular, is mightily relieved. He was on the ball here, and then he lost his balance, and with it, well, it's no exaggeration to say that Tottenham could have lost the game. Vieira. Sherwood. Here's Simon Davis. Vieira. Henri. Dean Richards trying to stay with him, which is not, of course, easy. In the end, Henri, uh, it's not the sort of pitch that you really can blame too often. But he did look down. Some redemption for the miss. One or two options arriving from deeper, but Henri going for goal. Glenn Hoddle down the touchline level for the second half. He's going to have to make a change. Everson is not... To Looking at all mobile. 
Perry. Well, he's uh, much closer to the Spurs fan, Sol Campbell, in the second half. Jungberg, he's kept it in. Wiltor is furthest forward in the centre. This is Henri. Wins the corner off Dean Richards. Tottenham pulling everyone back, including the, uh, the game. Everson who's limped back to take up a position on the edge of the goal area. Gardner's headed it rather up in the air. It's followed away uh, cleverly by Gus Poyet. Rebroff getting uh, ready to come on and replace Everson. Lutheran plays safe. Henri chased it himself. Early for Bergkamp. Tottenham uh, work their way out of trouble. And Davis. Trying to exploit any vulnerability uh, maybe in Lutheran's work as a left back. Well, they'd obviously sent Stefan Everson out for the second half to give it a go. But it's a sight that Spurs uh, supporters have seen uh, too often. Everson uh, limping off. But in Sergei Rebroff, they have a, a player of international reputation, even though he has struggled to make his mark in uh, North London. He does have a goal against Arsenal, to his credit, at White Hart Lane last season. Focused had he been so, the loose ball would have been uh, well, tantalizingly close to him. Campbell, Jungberg, nearly ran for him off a momentarily confused Dean Richards. Poyet, now Davis. Show. Rebroff able to turn. Camp and Lauren finding the uh, route forward for Arsenal. Vieira. Bergkamp trying to get away behind Simon Davis, but Davis able to get his challenge in. Weak one by Perry, he got away with that. Ten minutes gone in the second half, it's still as we were at half-time. Master one, Tottenham Hotspur nil. North London rivalry in the local pride secondary. Two premiership points for Arsenal. Davis. On the outside of Lusny. And forcing a corner to Spurs. Their first corner of the game. And in Christian's eager, they've got uh, a man of high calibre to take it. And to make this awkward for David Seaman, maybe just to whip it in, the wind might add to the difficulties for the England goalkeeper as well. 
Well, Seaman is very much up to the task. Although well, Ziga had his arms raised to say, what's that over the line, the corner taker? It was a challenge by Richard. Seaman was going backwards. It's certainly worth an appeal if you're backing Tottenham Hotspur. David Seaman didn't turn a hair. Richards, Bergkamp, and he might have struck it at goal. The mood that he's in. Had to work instead with Wiltor. Arsenal get the throw. Southampton, incidentally, two up now against Derby County for Marianne Pahas. the Riverside Stadium. Rebroff in bravely. And Jungberg felt the force of that. He's still down. Anderton. Simon Davis took it well. Sherrington's in the centre. Rebroff there as well. But as uh, Davis was having a look in that direction, he was uh, challenged and dispossessed. Adams. kick against Simon Davis, it's the sort of decision that you to see uh, senior players get. And this is a collision, Rebroff uh, giving it everything against Jungberg, but Jungberg is back on his feet now. And after that, Adams trying to be majestic from the back, and Davis looking to stop him imposing himself. But it is a free kick against the young Spurs player. Jungberg maybe still uh, complaining that uh, Webroff came into him unfairly. <laughs> David Seaman being told to get on with it by the officials. Ari Jungberg concentrating now. Important things like getting on the ball rather than uh, warming the referee's ears with some uh, choice words. Poyet and Anderton a bit close to each other, but didn't cause any alarm. Perry passing of the ball is extremely difficult. Don't be fooled by the sunshine. It is a treacherous wind. Trying to get the ball down to earth and sharing him likewise. Davis. Still more than half an hour to go. And uh, Ziga against uh, Lauren, who's uh, pretty uh, nimble and nippy on his return to the team today after missing three games through injury. They've done well, Arsenal, really, with their injury problems. That they, of course, are uh, now going to be without Robert Perez for the rest of the season. So we have played one hour at Highbury. It's not been the, the happiest of hours in the sense that Arsenal have not delighted their fans in the manner to which they were hoping to put Tottenham to the sword here, coming into the match in such a good form. But this is the North London derby. And Spurs are digging in and making it difficult. Bergkamp, who made the one goal that we've had so far for Freddie Jungberg. And it is another little cameo of the contest there. This is Laura. And he's done wonderfully well. Cross is a bit over Kotko. And even beyond the Piera's redress. Change of pace and uh, Spurs, who 
He's done well in closing Arsenal down for the majority of what we've seen so far, and particularly in these early minutes of the second half. And lost Lauren, though. Each other's way, but the ball dropped for Anderton who found Ziga. He looks for Rebroff. Middlesbrough back in front against Aston Villa 2 1. The two Middlesbrough scorers, both ex Villa players, uh, Carboni the first and Echiog the second. Well, it's certainly not the time for. Zenvenga to relax and enjoy watching his team knock the ball around, as has been the case plenty of times this season. Of course, Tottenham struck a late equaliser to stop Arsenal getting three points at White Hart Lane in November. Gus Poet got that goal, just rolling the ball back to Richards here. He leaves it to Casey Keller, and Richards starts from deep for Spurs. from Sherwood, but just overstepped the mark there. Carrying the caution from the first half, Tim Sherwood, Adu with the free kick, looking for Henri. Gardner, oh, was it loose? No. Well, if it was, it was just for a fraction of a second before Keller snatched it back. Offside flag is up. Gardner hoping for the ball to drop favourably and then uh, was getting too close to Keller. But, uh, no harm done in the end to Tottenham. Corner for Arsenal. Still looking for Gunners for a second goal that could seal it. and Adams are forward. Chris Perry met it with the first header, Sheringham the second. Oh. <laughs> Slightly lacking in culture. But uh, getting it out of harm's way is the main thing for a defender, and Chris Perry is the defender from uh, head to toe. It's uh, Edu with the uh, accompanying uh, sound effects of his name being uh, called out from those fans in that far corner. A real tussle on in the centre, in which Keller played a prominent part in the end, back for Bergkamp. Uh, yeah, turned away in disgust, in fact the ball's only just gone behind for the goal kick, it was almost worth pursuing for a moment. Been the goalkeeper, oh, Gardner's head oh, got it away. Tottenham also have Liverpool to play in the closing weeks of the season at White Hart Lane. of that, of course, if uh, they hinder Liverpool, they might help their old rivals from Highbury. Siga just clipping Sylvain Wiltor. Free kick here, and Adams has gone forward again. 
And it comes for Tony Adams, with uh, Keller right alongside him. And uh, Adams has landed jarringly. The ball has ended up in Keller's net, but the whistle had gone. And the contact between uh, Mr Arsenal and uh, Casey Keller in mid-air. It's always going to go the goalkeeper's way, that. in the league this season in the FA Barclay Card Premiership. And officially, you need uh, 10 for a championship medal. It's a free kick to Tottenham. We're at the three-quarter mark in the match. Oh, Simon Davis just loitering to the right of... Uh, Anderson's place in the ball is when they're spotted by Jungberg now. Certainly set pieces will be one way that uh, Tottenham would feel that they got a chance of getting a goal today. Ziga. Vieira leant into it and steered it away. Defend the long throw, and Campbell does it with a towering leap. Sherwood. Now Davis. Rebroth. Anderton. Arsenal held the line. They've been good at that down the years. <laughs> In the Tony Adams era. you'd expect, just over 38,000. Nothing like big enough for the demand for matches uh, such as this, for matches really every time Arsenal play at home, that's why they're hoping to move to this new stadium. Jungberg, Gardner and Sherwood. And then get it away for Spurs. Poyet, repeat to it by Lauren. Will Torres there, Poyet again. Of course, he, I think, thought about giving Tottenham a free kick, but he has, in fact, given them a throw. Vieira. Patrick Vieira again. Looking for the right pass. Trying to make it the one to Berg up. Ziga. Vieira in once more, Jungberg, just the blocked off, Anderton. Free kick taken by Tottenham before Arsenal could set themselves for a substitution. Jungberg, Luznik, Bergkamp, oh. Oh, the ball was off the ground. Of course, he didn't like the look of Chris Perry's challenge. Well, Perry wasn't going to pull out. And, uh, he joins the list of Tottenham names in Mark Halsey's notebook. with the free kick. An orthodox piece of defending by Perry. 
Standards, and was Vieira's there, Sherwood, Coyet. All South American action there with Edu, and it's a free kick against Arsenal's Brazilian. And it's it. That was rather disappointing for a player who's got good vision, good execution of his passes, normally Darren Anderson. It's a return to the Arsenal team for Ray Parler here. And we understand there's been a little bit of debate about uh, who was to come off. It might have been Sylvain Wiltor, but in fact, a change of mind by Arsene Wenger. He is withdrawing Dennis Bergkamp. So, Parler into midfield, Wiltor released to play more through the middle by Arsene Wenger. Here he is, in close uh, proximity to Thierry Henry, but the ball wasn't there for long. Anderton. It could still be a very nail-biting finale here. For Arsenal followers. Just the one goal scored by Jungberg midway through the first half. Here he is still trying to help Arsenal settle Spurs hash at Highbury. Still West Ham United 2, Charlton Mill at Upton Park, but Charlton have wasted a chance to get back in the game. Paul Koncheski has missed a penalty. Had some problems with their penalties recently. Uh, Charlton, Jason Newell has uh, failed recently from the spot in the uh, Premiership as well. Davis. Tottenham's ball. Actually trying to stop it. Playing, uh, Restarted the game quickly by Davis. Well, he was out of position. Davis. Poyet. Well, it's easy to say sitting here, but Gus Poyet had the chance to take a touch and have a crack at goal himself. It's very much his game. He uh, spotted Redroth, tried to find him. But just look at the space that he was in. He could have just killed the ball into his own stride. He'll keep going right till the 90-minute mark because uh, he's a great competitor, Poyet. He's a, an intriguing person as well. Gabbles away in uh, many languages at you. And he's always a uh, great company. and Tottenham fans watching all around the globe glued, I'm sure, to the uh, climax of this game. It's got 15 minutes to run. Of a major, major importance in the Premiership showdown. Henri, Ray Parler. And, uh, Vieira went down, the ball was uh, 
Not certainly within his reach. Edo, Spurs scrapping for their lives. Back comes Sheringham. I think uh, Vieira is quite happy to go to ground in the end. He's got to be careful of pushing, pick up bookings for all sorts of reasons these days. And uh, simulation is high on the list of the referees' uh, infringements that they're hot on. Now comes a Davis. Henri. Now Lushny well forward. Never scored for Arsenal. And he certainly made Casey Keller work. The goalkeeper's had an easier second half than the first. To some extent, uh, Glenn Hoddle's tactical change at half time has improved uh, Tottenham's output. But Oleg Lushny. Looking for a moment to treasure. Lovely work from Edu. Will talk. The strong man Anthony Gardner to try and deal with him. One way or another, he's come out on top here. He held the ball away from Will Tour, and then he was uh, clearly fouled by Parler. And uh, Christian Zieger. Treatment table this week. His way to Matthew Etherington, who has taken Zieger's place in the team. And uh, Zieger has been out. Show. Rebroff. That was Vieira in the right place for Arsenal then. Hoisted away by Luznik. Henri. Very tight at it. Tottenham tight at Arsenal here. That's Poyet. A little flick from Davis. Challenge from Parler. Adams wants to get it away and he's uh, rolled it up to Henri. Tries to trick Perry, who refuses to be tricked. Sherwood. Hedrington. Now uh, and, uh, 21 international for England. Sherwood. Oh, and Gus Poyet. Is he in here? Now David Seaman came out, caught Poyet. And has Mark Horsley pointed for a penalty? Well, I'm not sure that he has, or has he? He hasn't made his intentions clear. It is a penalty. Seaman on Poyet, a penalty to Spurs. Well, this is a crucial decision in the context, not just of this game, but in the whole Premiership picture at the top of the table. David Seaman seemed to be trying to shepherd that behind, and he maybe could have picked it up. Well, Mark Halsey did, I must say, point pretty quickly in the direction of the penalty spot, but he took Arsenal by surprise. Now the job is for Teddy Sheringham to outwit David Seaman. Two great campaigners, two great veterans of North London derbies, Sheringham and Seaman. Sheringham cracks it in for 1-1. And there are 10 minutes to go. David Seaman couldn't make amends. And the best part of 3,000 Spurs supporters celebrate. The manager keeps his cool. The scorer celebrates. He went for power, Sheringham. Seaman guessed the direction, but couldn't get there quickly enough. 1-1 here, as it was at White Hart Lane in November. And here is Lauren. Parler. Never underestimate the unpredictability of the North London derby. But there has been an improvement in Tottenham's play in the second half. 
but they got the penalty decision and certainly maximised the award by Mark Holsey. Henri off Perry. Big Arsenal claims from the North Stand for a corner, but Keller kept it in. And he certainly kept his team in the game, particularly in the first half. Arsene Wenger has uh, responded by getting Kanu warmed up. It might be worse than before last night here, but Anderton uh, passed out to Edouard not for long because uh, Tottenham have got the bit between their teeth now. Sherwood. This is Edrington. One back powerfully for Arsenal by Parler, but Vieira's lost out to Poyet. Force Poyet out of play and uh, Arsenal get the throw. But they haven't really clicked in the second half. Can they now get the rhythm again? Dennis Bergkamp already taken off. David Seaman finding himself very much the centre of Spurs' route back into the match. Edu, who goes off for Kanu. Over Gardner. Carney straight away. Will talk. Oh, down goes Oric. There's another penalty. It's a penalty for Arsenal. And Mark Horsey was right there. And again, straight away. Thierry Henry was down, and Spurs, who had their own penalty delight. But the Regular Arsenal penalty taker is a down here. And of course, in European games, he's missed a couple recently. It was Dean Richards who wrestled Henri to the ground. But there is always a feeling in football that. If you've just got a penalty at one end, you've got to be careful at the other because referees have been known to even the count. But this delay will not make it any easier for Arsenal to regain the lead. But it is a golden opportunity. A pair of penalties in the North London derby. Now, Arsenal have given the responsibility to Lauren, who has uh, certainly shouldered the burden for Cameroon in the African Nation Cup shootouts, in the Olympics as well, in Australia. But this is a major, major test. Up steps Lauren. Oh, he's rolled it in. Committed himself to the left. Arsenal jubilation. It's turned back their way. And their new penalty taker has shown himself up to the task, as he has done in international football. But for his English club... Oh, straight down the middle. No power. And he was lucky, in truth. They used to say it, lucky Arsenal, and maybe that applies here. Is it in? Is it in? Yes, it is for Arsene Wenger and Arsenal. Well, fear 
Yes, Tottenham protests. But the score is Arsenal 2, Tottenham 1, and Highbury is heaving. Some tugging on Kanu by Anthony Gardner. Well, Casey Keller, you can say it's easy to say went too soon. But he had to take his chance, make his gamble. Oh, a storming run and shot by Kanu. Van Hoddle waving his team forward, trying to get the spirit back into the side that was so high when they scored their penalty. And uh, could be shattered by conceding one so soon afterwards. Lee Dixon is going to be sent on for the final minutes here. And this time Sylvain Wiltor does depart. Uh, not exactly petering out at 1-0 because Arsenal had to make sure and weren't uh, doing that. And suddenly, had a penalty apiece, a goal apiece, and Spurs uh, strive again to get back on level terms as they were when Sheringham hammered the ball past David Seaman. Cup raised there, oh, and uh, Sol Campbell, the referees uh, right in the thick of it, and the match that's been kept pretty much under wraps in terms of loss of temper, overflows here. He stooped to head it away as uh, Sheringham came in, feeling that the ball was within his reach. Sheringham, remember, was booked in the first half. <laughs> Sol Campbell is OK. He'll certainly be OK if Arsenal leave this pitch with three more Premiership points to their name. minute and we await to see how much stoppage time there will be. Jungberg, Parler. Using Lauren. Now Kanu. It's a goal kick. Four extra minutes. It's by no means finished yet at Highbury. Sheringham, foot up by Patrick Vieira. to Darren Anderton. Davis. Anderton has to chase back. In fact, it's Etherington who gets there first. And he's having to play on the retreat all the way back to the goalkeeper. After fans like that, Keller and Ori flung himself at the... not at the keeper, but at the direction of the clearance across the line. This is Poyet off Luznik. 
a furious finish here at Highbury. It's a massive throw from Simon Davis. He caught on the breeze, headed back by Sherwood. The flag has gone up. Arsenal get their offside. Chelsea are sure of their points against Everton 3 0. Gianfranco Zola. And uh, Kanu, who can match Gardner for height, and not many <laughs> players can. But, uh, it's a foul by the Spurs defender, although it could easily have been called the other way with Kanu backing in. Arsenal won't be in a hurry. <laughs> Council of War here, Jungberg and Henri and Vieira. Not the direct route. <laughs> Kanu trying to conjure. down the touchline, but he's uh, come with the ball over the line. <laughs> Sherwood, that's uh, great vision from uh, Tim Sherwood, who's uh, kept going in the heartbeat of uh, Tottenham, the centre of midfield. And it's a poor one from Edrington in the circumstances. to it is Ray Parler across the Luzhnik. Lundberg has gone to the left. And they'll be happy to keep it in this corner for as long as possible, Arsenal, as a foul by Perry. Which will only hinder the Spurs' chances of getting something from the go, which seemed uh, more than likely when Sheringham slammed the penalty past David Seaman. Two big decisions by the referee, Mark Halsey, who's now going to supervise Arsenal's attempts to keep the game in this part of the pitch, which they'll be happy to do to the final whistle, which now goes. And Arsene Wenger, not a man of extreme emotions, punches the air in delight. That's how close it was. Arsenal are back on top. Mark Halsey gave two penalties late on. Teddy Sheringham scored past David Seaman, who conceded that penalty. But then Lawrence stepped into the breach when Thierry Henry went down. Seaman can smile now. Tony Adams captains Arsenal to a victory. Sol Campbell has played a big part against his old club. There's still more work to be done, but they've done what they've had to do today, Arsenal. Amidst all the tension of this particular fixture, they've just...